Looking to cash in on this opening drive. Here's third and goal. And the play clock's running down. They'll try to run it with Morris. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Alfred Morris punching it in from a yard away. And the Cowboys take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. And they will line up now for the two-point try. Here we go. Brian 38. Flex round. Flex round. Time running out here on the play clock. Flex round. They'll try and throw for it. That's caught at the one. And he is not going to make it. They stop him up short. And this will remain a 6-0 ball game. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. They'll run for the first time with Devontae Freeman. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. And a man, as we look at the starters now, a man who really has earned us talking about him in the booth, Julio Jones. He's a 1,000-yard receiver each and every year. So sleek, so wonderful. I call him Secretariat. Second down following the run. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Falcons in possession to begin quarter number two. They've got a second down and eight to start things out. Now Ryan on second down. He completes it to Julio Jones. Over 1,400 yards last year for Jones. Just six touchdowns, but you know, of course he had the big 300-yard game. However, when he was blanketed with coverage, he always opens things up for other guys, doesn't he? He does, and that's what's benefited Atlanta's offense. Other guys were able to step up. In 2016, Mohamed Sanu stepped up and had his best year as a pro. Austin Hooper as a young tight end really developed down the stretch. And Taylor Gabriel, who had come over as a free agent from Cleveland, he really flourished, actually led the team in touchdown catches. But there's only one Julio Jones, and you want to get the ball to him as much as possible. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. Swings it out to the flat for Freeman. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen, because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and that's what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. Shift together here from the D-line. down Ryan looking for Jones and it's intercepted picked off by the linebacker Sean Lee and his guys are going to get the football at their own 47 yard line Charles when plays like that work it's a thing to behold but sometimes we see why they're very deep in the playbook and how many times have we been at practice and heard all the other guys chirping about you know I used to play quarterback in high school I can do this until it becomes a game situation not quite the same in many cases Following the interception, here's Prescott. He's got time. nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Jonathan Babineau busting through to get him for a loss of six. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. 
you have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you get three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Partner, I know you call the play-by-play, -play, but you know your ball. If I throw these numbers at you, all right, six yards shy of 2,000 of total yards from scrimmage for a rookie running back. What do you think? Sounds like me in high school. <laughs> Sounds no. like you doing it, no, right? It's, it's really fascinating at what he was able to do. The thing for me, though, he did that as a rookie. Where do you go from here? I mean, can you keep going up from those numbers, your sophomore campaign? I think that you can. He's had examples of that. They, it, it, preceding him in the NFL. Some guys who are in the Hall of Fame right now. Remember, he had 16 total touchdowns because it's not just his ability to run it. He can catch it out of the backfield as well. No one plays harder than this guy does down in and down out. I think he's just going to keep getting better. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. NFL teams last year, a little under 50% on fourth down conversions. This is a bit tougher. Fourth and four. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. Fourth down, Prescott. He completes it to Bryant. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Six yards on the pickup. And on fourth down, they're able to convert and move the sticks. And the two-minute warning lurking. This will probably be the last play before we hit it. Yeah, they want to get themselves in position to score in this last shot before the clock hits. And with that, it's two-minute warning time here. The NFL on EA Sports. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. First down throw for Prescott. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Lucky Whitehead is intended target. And now it's second down. The good signal callers would never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly. And that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. Second down, Prescott again. And Bryant's got it over the middle. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. They come up in an offset eye. And the wide out in motion. Second down, Elliott. And he'll at least get him inside the red zone here, down to about the 19. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it's going to make it third down at six. And that's why you see a lot of teams that like to play 4-3 defense, especially against teams that run the ball really well, because you count on your defensive front, the tackles and the ends, to eat up the blocking in the offensive line and keep that guy in the middle clean so he can roam through the football and make a tackle. In this case, he introduced himself and said, hello, my name is Mike. On third down, it's Prescott. He's got a man, it's Williams. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. 